Good morning and welcome to day 16 of the Napadung Trail. It's the trees that I was camping in right up the top. All uh, right, so yesterday it was an alright day. Um, I quite liked that it wasn't all beside the ocean. There was a lot more inland. Uh, so really neat little villages that I really enjoyed. I did have water issues and I was very restricted with my water. It took ages to find some more, which probably meant I wasn't snacking as much as normal. And I did delay my lunch because lunch is going to be a bit dry. But yeah, <laughs> what that meant was I was a little lower energy. Um, when I perked up a little bit after the water, um, and yeah, found a campsite at a good spot. I was quite happy with it once again. Not level, I haven't had a level campsite yet. That's just the nature of Korea, all the flatland is taken up with fields, so <laughs> it's all right. Uh, okay, uh, got down to six degrees last night, and it's up to well, when I woke up it was uh, eight, but it's gone up to 11 already. That's why I'm not getting up until 7. I'm waking up naturally around 6, but I just laze around until 7 and get up and it warms up quite nicely. And today I am on the last, of course, 72. I've got, I think, about 7k left on that course. And then course 71 is 21.8 kilometres, estimated time of 6 hours and a grade of easy. I did have a look and coming up there will be a whole lot more mediums and some difficulties. so hopefully that means some trails and off the roads. Uh, most of the day once again, um, not all by the ocean, there's a lot more inland still and at the end of course 71 I'm hoping for a convenience store. So I've got enough food today but hopefully I can resupply. Right, and it's a gorgeous day again. There we go. I have got 5.7k to get to the start point. There's my campsite near the top of those trees. Oh, the frogs last night. There's some frogs down here. <laughs> Remind me <laughs> of frogs last night. <laughs> there was heaps. <laughs> oh, pretty loud the sound is coming up from the valley. <laughs> Keep forgetting to start my watch in the morning. So. You'll notice that the GPS tracks won't be <laughs> marrying up. <laughs> There'll be little gaps of 100 metres, 200 metres. That time I reckon it's probably about 400 metres. <laughs> it's a long worm. <laughs> That's impressive. That's a good hill to start the day. <laughs> Wee. Means I love coming over the brows of the hills. See what the view is on the other side. We can see the ocean. Bananas for breakfast. <laughs> Funny, some of the older ladies I come across will actually look the other direction and, and not look at me. And yet some of them are just so social. <laughs> I just think saw a group of four older ladies. I would put them in their 70s or 80s at least. <laughs> and they were just sitting there in the sun having a chat. And uh, yeah, they were uh, quite cheerful and uh, had the usual, are you cold? But, uh, and they, I heard them say as I walked off Numpadung, so they obviously knew what I was doing. <laughs> Up another hill, down again. <laughs> it's nice using the different muscles first thing in the morning with the ups and downs. Uru Beach down there. Looks like a couple of restaurants, but well, I'm really closed at this time in the morning. Maybe not restaurants, possibly just selling fish. <laughs> There's Long Causeway, and then at the end there is the end of the course, so end of course 72, and hopefully convenience store, according to the maps. They are restaurants. Something I noticed the the restaurant I saw yesterday and these ones uh, rather than a central room they're broken off into uh, smaller private rooms which is the reason why they didn't want me as a single person taking up an entire room and they could have a group in there. Beautiful still morning. <laughs> uh, 
I didn't have internet last night and I hadn't downloaded where the end of course 71 my next course was so I wasn't sure whether it takes me down to the big town or not but I just had a look and it does so potentially I am this is town day <laughs> once I get over there then it'll be 20 uh, 1.8k so that's a you know 27 odd uh, k day which is very reasonable um, also means it gets me there closer to the motels being able to check in at 1600 so potentially <laughs> uh, this is town day and that means at this convenience store I don't need to get much um, just lunch and a treat for myself right before the causeway is this little stop here so uh, I'm getting some food I'm getting some uh, chicken skewers but then you've got some shellfish as well, <laughs> all sorts of things. Not sure what these are. They look like bugs, but not sure. I don't think so. And coffee. <laughs> and coffee. Yay. That was nice. Coffee and a skewer. So 2.7k and a straight line across the causeway. Oh, that was a nice little snack. And uh, those things that. I thought were beetles, they're pupae, uh, so they are nice and nutritious I'm guessing. I have eaten them before, but they're not my preference. Sun Valley Resort, and there should be a convenience store, I'm hoping it's on the side of the road and that we don't actually have to go up to the resort. <laughs> Interesting decoration for a resort, <laughs> ROK Air Force. Right. <laughs> plane in there. I don't see a convenience store, so I might have to go up to the resort for it. I think this is going to be a market. However, I'm too early. <laughs> but it's just past nine o'clock. Here's a sign here. Would have been safer if they swing it around, so we're not on the uh, road and we're over here. But anyway, there is 72. I have done <laughs> from there. And I camped. Where did I camp? Oh, I camped here. <laughs> Mm, so you can see what 72 is. So the next section, 71, is 21.8k uh, and it goes down to there. Estimated time of 6 hours grade of easy. And that is where it looks like there's a little city. So we'll see, right? Oh, that's good. That's your convenience store just up there. So I don't need to go into the restaurant. And coffee like it might even be open but I've just had some coffee so that was the convenience store <laughs> I was looking for mart or something like that or a symbol I recognize but I went in there and someone asked me what I was looking for so uh, right <laughs> there's Marcus straight ahead so they didn't have gimp up <laughs> not happy with that and the coffee sh place was shut so I've got some eggs and some fish sausage and I've still got some uh, chips left over from what I bought yesterday. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. No gimp up for lunch. <laughs> right. <laughs> Marcus. I'm assuming we're going that way. I'm sticking to the coast for the first, I think, about eight or nine kilometres. And then it will be heading inland for the rest of the day. Through to the town. <laughs> and hopefully, motel. This looks a lot more touristy around here, so potentially might be a cafe further along. Lots of toilets, so there, there's toilets there, there's toilets there. There were toilets in with the restaurant. Oh yeah, there's a full restaurant there as well as a convenience store and coffee shop. This is that nice, soft, not as soft as the other path, but this feels like an athletics track. <laughs> and looks like campground in there. This place has a beach, so I can see why it's got a resort. Not a lot of sand beaches along, it's mainly rocky um, along the coastline so far. I think they need some new markers. <laughs> They're gone, the last three have been like that. <laughs> oh, look at the colours today, quite bright. <laughs> it's not as hazy as it's been the last few days. Oh, that was nice in the shade for a little bit. <laughs> It's definitely warm. I had the sleeves up when I went across that causeway. The beach, a little fishing village behind it. 
fishing port behind it. I notice a lot of places going uphill they have these. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's for grip when it's snowy or is it to slow people down? <laughs> not quite sure but it's only up the hills not the downhills which is why I don't think it's slowing people down. What the sign says basically this farm out here is managed by the uh, Yongbu fishing village so leave it alone otherwise you'll be fined <laughs> but I'm assuming sh fishing from the sand is fine looks like a restaurant in there judging by the beer and soju <laughs> bottles beautiful spot for it look at that <laughs> Got a beach clean up team here collecting rubbish doing a great job there are a bunch of people in fluoro vest gathered at the previous beach so I wonder if they were also doing the same thing getting ready to go and clean up the beach a little bit because there's a, a lot of rubbish so many fishing boats out there and high population by the coast it's inevitable there's going to be rubbish on the beaches and in the water getting away from the beach for a little while Ooh, police station they all hide themselves in the sand Got to really be watching the markers in here. Um, and the arrows, a lot of them are not there anymore. They will come off at some stage and it's not very windy so the ribbons aren't flapping like normal. <laughs> so I'm being very, very careful. <laughs> About to rejoin the main road. <laughs> it's a little village I just come up from. So, finish climbing now. It's interesting, there's another causeway that goes across there. The one I crossed over is just on the other side of that hill. <laughs> oh, it is hot. Today is officially the first day of spring, first of April. <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> uh, so, no wonder it's starting to get hot, but yeah, you know, walking along and it is feeling hot and it must be in the mid to high 20s at the moment <laughs> so I'm not sure what summer's going to be like it's going to be hot it's part of why I ran out of water yesterday because the day before um, after lunch after I gathered the last water it got really hot oh see an arrow going up this way yeah it got really hot so I started drinking a lot more than expected so I'll have to start carrying a little bit more water now and doing some more detailed planning. Oh, we're going to be in the trees and on a dirt road, is it? <laughs> well, it's still a concrete road, but in the trees. <laughs> now we drop back down to the ocean. Whew. Now it's a dirt road. <laughs> Well, the dirt road was only a few hundred metres, but it is still lovely being in the trees on a quiet road like this. Like a deer's come through here. <laughs> There's a deer just up in there. I can't quite see it with the camera. It's up in between those trees. We didn't drop down from that height. We're still climbing. Oh, I think I might be going along there. Oh, it was cool. Another deer. Um, unfortunately, the camera couldn't focus through the thick bush. It had just frozen behind the bush. Okay. <laughs> They're really small, the deer here. Oh, this lovely shade and dirt track again. <laughs> Beautiful. And back to concrete again. <laughs> for today oh brilliant right I just I had my camera out because I was gonna take a photo of that saying we're not taking the trail we keep into the road and there's a nice tree oh. <laughs> hopefully we can see that one clearly with the camera squirrel jumps well Oh, 
That's cute. <laughs> that is such a good day. Not only am I walking in trees on gravel, but I've seen two deer and a squirrel. <laughs> what happened to spring? I think the reason the squirrel was so close is I'd been quiet because I just had a wee. I was just pulling my shorts up and I looked forward and saw the movement and <laughs> saw the squirrel <laughs> scrambling to try and uh, hold the pants up and get the uh, camera out. <laughs> We're winding our way around the side of the hill very slowly dropping. So I've still got a little bit more of this wonderful forest. <laughs> I'm walking along, big grin on my face after the deer and the squirrel. Here. Go on. <laughs> Another flower, similar to what I saw on the first day, but not upside down like they were. Gorgeous day. It's not open yet. Fifteen kilometers. That is pretty. A ton of blossoms, heaps and heaps of birds around. I'm not sure if they're after the nectar or if they're after the insects getting the nectar. Oh, pretty. Here are the frogs. fields is why I don't want to be drinking any water that's come from the fields. Back down in farmland for a little while before heading back up again. Back beside the seaside. <laughs> Just a quick taste and now back away again. <laughs> Seems a quite new, I'm assuming, fish farm. And instead of the individual tanks, it's just one big tank. Judging by the sign, I don't think it's a fish farm, I think it's prawns. Oh, back to agriculture again. But there is some sea <laughs> down there. That looks like a lovely beach down there. A little bit of a conflict there. Arrow one way, sign the other. 10k to go. The arrow seems right, so I'll have to check the map. Yep, sign's on the wrong side. <laughs> cartoon construction person again. I've learnt that word. John John he <laughs> slow down. Watching the road signs, you know the words for slow down and stop. Uh, there's nothing pointing this way but there's a red arrow and this is the way the map says so following the road works. They don't seem to be working today so safety should be okay. There have been blue arrows so I'm definitely on the right track. Keeping a careful eye on the map, <laughs> make sure I know where to go because I assume the markers might be a bit stuffed up with the roadworks and yep, because <laughs> I need to be turning up this way and there's no markers. Body update, everything is good, uh, including my ITB is just the very faintest tightness, uh, except for <laughs> my left shin. It was okay yesterday. And it was only if I went really fast, but it's hurting a bit more today, even when I'm going slower. So uh, <laughs> slow down even more, stop and stretch a bit more. Nothing seems really tight, but oh, so not sure what it is, but it's okay because I've only got another 10k to go, and then I get a rest day. The big scary dog's fine with me. And that little one's going mad. <laughs> right. Definitely in the countryside. Nice and quiet. No cars. And based on what's ahead of me, I think I'm about to climb up and over another hill. This free kiwi fruit. <laughs> and you know it's a New Zealand company because they say kiwi fruit, not kiwis. <laughs> kiwis is a bird, you don't eat the kiwi. Kiwi is also what New Zealanders refer to themselves as. But it uh, <laughs> doesn't look like anything in there at the moment. 
I didn't realise they'd licensed into um, uh, Korea as well. I know Italy has, uh, because it's our off season, so Italy has a lot of Zespri farms. Up and over the hill, there on the other side. I might have lunch here, <laughs> under the tree. This is lunch, the last of my little banana bread. <laughs> eggs <laughs> and I will show you what they look like because they're not what you expect they are boiled eggs <laughs> and some fish pork sausage as you can see the egg is not white when it's peeled it is brown <laughs> the yolk is the same but um, uh, what's normally the white isn't so it's a slightly different style of cooking and it does preserve them a, a bit better so that they can keep for longer. And the little packet comes with some salt as well. Yum! The taste is different. <laughs> um, yeah, it does taste different and it's a slightly different texture than you used to. But not too different that it's... Yeah, I still like them. They're still good. There's got lots of beautiful murals on the walls as well. <laughs> This is the one I was looking down over while I was having lunch. <laughs> School vehicle. They have the flashing lights if they've got the children in them. <laughs> Very carefully looking for markers and on the other side of the wall and the lamppost and the like, but no markers seen, so I've got the map out. And it's this way. Here's the marker just out of sight of the intersection because it's down. This is a lovely gradient, just dropping down very gently. I think, oh, that's a pretty lake. Wouldn't it be nice to swim in it? And then see <laughs> at the end there, the paddles of the water discharge. So, no, I won't be swimming in there. <laughs> this is new, <laughs> flashy light. Really making sure that you know there's a bend. <laughs> it's about to come out onto a bigger road for a little bit. Shortcut through the town. Beautiful old style house. Gorgeous. Even the fence is beautiful. Well, this village has got a different chime. <laughs> it's very musical, goes on for a lot longer. No, that chime would probably for the school, big school. <laughs> it's a much bigger town. Traffic lights. <laughs> and civilization, just because it's outside the school. It's a big school. Look at that. Wow. 6.9 kilometers. Now is that saying that way or is it saying that way? <laughs> I think this way. It looks like the sign has been bent at some stage. A few restaurants. Yeah, so decent sized town. Could have had uh, lunch there. <laughs> Instead of my weird eggs, weird sausage and weird bread. <laughs> Alright, this is the right way. I have an arrow and a ribbon. Only 400 meters on that busy road. <laughs> and off it. I was looking at this, I now know the word for, um, oh, I'm not sure if hiking and trekking is the same thing, but uh, Turekking. <laughs> it's the first top three. Turekking. I've been saying hiking, because <laughs> um, I thought that was also uh, understandable, but maybe I'll say Turekking. Not them jumping away. There you go, that's what's making all the racket. Another one down there like a full family effort. I haven't seen young ones in the fields very often. When I refer to them young ones, what I mean is someone under 40. They look like they were um, older teenagers, you know, 18 to 20-ish, <laughs> as well as the parents. Out on this busier road for about 800 metres. It's the highway back there. We just did a big loop around and then... <laughs> right. Much busier road. These things on the road are for downhill as well, so it must just be for slowing down before a corner. And here we go! Hello! <laughs> Footpath! Get to turn off the main road now. Not that it's been very busy, <laughs> there's only been a couple of cars. And uh, down a little side road. Oh, we're actually doing a shortcut for a change rather than a long cut, like a lot of today has been. <laughs> Very little caterpillar. 
crossing under the motorway, <laughs> heading off the other side before curving around. Ooh, 3K to go. <laughs> Just passed me and it's, oops, that uh, ground is a bit too deep for it. Oh dear. <laughs> 2K. I care about the countdown more today because it's town day. It's only quarter past two, so it's still quite early in the day. <laughs> I think I'll be able to check in when I get there. It'll give me time to sit at a cafe and then figure out which motel I would like to stay at. It's a hospital, Pyong Wan. <laughs> oh, yeah, emergency. <laughs> Hospital's well away from residential areas. It's beautiful. Gets to look out over a little reservoir. <laughs> this is actually a city, not just a little town. <laughs> All the high rises over there. Um, it's trying to, hard trying to figure out what it's called. I think it's called Nokdang. But none of the road signs have been pointing to Nokdang. They've been a, another word staying with um, D. But from what I can tell, it was Nokdang Hospital and it's Nokdang Port. And there was a Nokdang High School. So I'm assuming that's what the name of this place is. But yeah, it's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Be careful with navigation because a lot of the arrows are off. Right, straight ahead. Yeah, Dolo is what I've seen a lot for potentially the name of this Gumsando Ferry anyway, <laughs> I'm going this way ooh, looks like we've got a footpath now nope, that wasn't a footpath <laughs> it lasted for 50 metres and that was it like we're in the city but <laughs> fairly pretty remote here you just have to look over there though so we're skirting around the edge but we will go through the main part get down to the waterfront 200 metres more of a town. Hard to walk on footpaths when people store things on them. Pretty sure I've done more than 200 metres so I think I missed a sign probably while I was trying to avoid being run over. <laughs> no shortage of restaurants with some lovely smells coming out of some of them. <laughs> fish market looks like a whole lot of other things and there are some fish. Yep I've definitely changed courses. I can obviously miss the sign. All right I might just find a cafe. Ooh, I think I see a cafe there and um, go off trail here and then suss out a motel and motels are all around here. Some new things, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's got some little stingrays. Ah, oh, <laughs> size. <laughs> big. <laughs> Octopus. Are you from America? So uh, two Mongolian ladies own this, so <laughs> just having a chat with one. I'll come back here for dinner. But yeah, look at the size of the mussels. They're huge. <laughs> All sorts of interesting things. <laughs> and some beautiful fish. Look at that. All right, find my motel and check in now that it's four o'clock. Cute little motel. <laughs> 33,000 won a night. You don't get a sea view as well. Nice. These are just the side dishes. The main hasn't come yet. <laughs> this is just the start of the side dishes. It's not the main meal yet. <laughs> Alright, the fish has arrived. So this is 12,000 won. So about 15 New Zealand dollars. This is the place I ate at. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I'm playing tourist for a little bit. So that's the motel I'm staying at over there, so right by the waterfront. Lots and lots and lots of restaurants and shops and that. Um, got a pedestrian bridge up to this island with a whole lot of statues which I'm going to go have a look at. Media Dome and there's a uh, VR zone, but I'm going to head across to see the statues. Got some tile murals, <laughs> I like the gal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Similar style to the dinosaurs that I saw. And then two little ones as well. <laughs> fish all around. <laughs> There's a big fish over there as well. It's raining outside. I've decided I'm going to have another day. So I've got a big dinner, which I'll also have for breakfast and possibly lunch. So it's just pizza. And then it comes with, I'm not sure, some sort of sauce. Uh, parmesan, a couple of hot sauces, and pickles! Ooh. 
<laughs> it's huge. Pretty happy with my decision to take an extra day here. <laughs> it's pretty miserable out there. Just came out for lunch. It's still raining. <laughs> I'm glad I stayed the extra day. I'm not having to walk in this. 